espresso with <laughs> we're jumping into espresso with sparrow foods there's amalies in heaven so am i welcome Aren't we all thank you thank you guys um it's a pleasure being here uh, i mean i'm now familiar with these mics a little more than i, I was previously but I still had the little nerves coming in. Mm -hmm. But it, it, even though it's under the umbrella of Sparrow Foods, what we were doing is that, at least for the brand rituals itself, we are about to launch our very new exciting project. I, I don't want to call it a program because a program tends to have a, a, an ending point. Mm -hmm. um, it's a project that we have decided to launch. And behind this project, I mean, we will have the ad and everything else played later on. We, we had a new ad done on TikTok, and we would hope that persons um, take, they take the time to view it. It's representative of Sinkit's um, rituals, the whole relationship between, and it's also representative of a change of culture for us as a company, where everybody has been so severely affected by the pandemic that we tend to look inwards for solutions. So as an individual, we are like, okay, what am I doing now that I need to improve? because of this pandemic. We have to do that as a company as well. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we have come to realize is that our corporate engagement and our corporate responsibility has to take a greater stage as we try to develop. Because everybody is so scared and everybody's watching their pockets and everybody's trying to make the big best with what they do. And that sense of humanity tends to be lost in the discussion. And mm -hmm. you see it every day. Persons, and not just persons who are directly affected by being laid off or otherwise, but p persons don't have the same spending power. So charities that you might have been able to give to before, you, you're no longer as free to do so. Right. Um, you have to make greater changes in how you approach your, your, your corporate spending and your, your gift giving and everything else. Mm -hmm. Um, what our senior management in Trinidad and Tobago has said is, hey, hey no, no, let, let's look at it very differently. Let's stop looking at it from just a, a, a spend perspective, but let's look at it from a responsibility perspective. We are all in right. this together, you know, and in order for us to make it together, that means there has to be a give and take. And that's what that's the entire thrust behind what we are doing here now. I see um, Kevon is loading the ads. So I don't know if you want to run it and, 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 and maybe our list viewers can get the opportunity to, to see what, what we've been able to come up with here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Yeah, we're going to queue up the ad and we're going to play it for all of our viewers to watch. And this was done on TikTok. Yes, this right? was done on TikTok. Um, and the, 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 the statement behind it is never lose sight of humanity. For the human spirit is capable of finding light and hope during the most difficult moments of our lives. Be inspired. Live good. Be kind to others. Respect each other. Celebrate each other. Love each other so deeply. The space and time and distance cannot measure its depth. Um, but more, more the most, I think, poignant part of it is the first statement. Never lose sight of our humanity. Because so many things are happening that it tends to take our focus away from that mm -hmm. and we become very selfish so um, so th that's where we are we as a company are trying to go at this point in time <coughs> Love, a ritual brings happiness it's a vibration through all the nation it is in all of us spreading love in our diversity our culture and spirit, our people, we're in it together in harmony. Sing it with me now. We are all one. We are all love. We stand together. We are all one. We are all love. We stand together. We are all one. We are all love. We stand together. We are all one. We are all love. We stand together. Ritual. Rituals Coffee House. Grounds for enjoyment. So yeah, so that was our little local creation here no, to launch our campaign. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah I, I thought so. Cool, yeah. I, I, I thought yeah. it was it was reflective of Sig Kits, um, some very unique features of us, of especially our flag, obviously, and everything else. But also, it, it reflects that sort of family spirit that I really hope that we we are able to engender, and um, I really do hope that it can. It, it it doesn't just stop here with the ad though. 
um, as I said, as an individual, it, what it forced me to do is, okay, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a manager, operations manager within the organization. If I'm going to sell this campaign, and if I'm going to get persons to buy into this campaign, then the first question I need to ask is, what act of kindness am I doing on a daily basis for somebody else? Right. That would be the first question. Mm -hmm. so acts of kindness can simply be forgiving somebody for some past wrong that you know may have bothered us for some time, and uh, just something. Or am I thinking of something kind or something different or something nice to do to somebody else? Now, as an employer, taking on a different hat, I I'm saying, how am I? What am I doing to make my employees' lives a little bit more comfortable? Because everybody is suffering. Everybody is taking either a pay cut or, or mm. shortage of hours or uh, whatever. whatever. Everybody is facing challenging circumstances, and it's easy for for, for persons who are um, in the in the boardroom having to make the hard decisions to kind of project our position with them. Okay, there's only so much we can do, right? And you know, we, you should save. That's the first thing persons tend to, to, to shoot out to persons who have it. You should have saved money from before. Yeah. Um, but even as a, as a company, what, what can we do to assist these persons who are going through this transition beyond just saying to them they should have saved from before? Right. You know what I mean? How am I, how am I sharing that, that load and making it easier for them? So when I launch this with them now... I say we all stand together. I have no problems with my staff now buying into the program. Because they can see from a company perspective that there's some there's some giving back, there's some open mindedness to the fact of, of their struggles and what right, they're some going consideration to. for yeah. their position. Exactly. It's, and it's not just like you said, you should receive. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. A bit more empathy, you know, is the word that I, I was trying to I was trying to find. And then like I mentioned previously, our corporate responsibility. I think as a company Everybody starts to look at the P and Ls during this time. How are we performing on the on the on the finance books? And unfortunately, so like like someone even mentioned to me over the weekend, the first thing that tends to happen is that you tend to see the staff suffering when it starts to, when this cutting starts. Yep. You know, um, and then the customer tends to lose mm. out a little bit more because you have to find ways and means of saving money. You know, tightening the belt. Tightening the belt. How have we now transitioned? Because this is a new reality. We keep saying it's a new reality, but have our companies, have our, our corporate heads started transitioning into this new reality from the perspective of, okay, maybe if I give this, this section segment of society a bit more, mm -hmm. they might buy into more of what I have to offer right. them. Right. You know? So are we reaching out to the health um, providers? Are we reaching out to the teachers? Are we reaching out to the children in the schools? Uh, what are we doing for them? And it's not just a financial reach out as well, too. Uh, 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 do we give of our time and our resources uh, to other organizations to maybe pair up? You know, we have the breast, can breast cancer work coming up this, yep. uh, during this course of this month, or this is Breast Cancer Month. Are we partnering with, with organizations to provide you know, resources where we can. Mm -hmm. We may not be able to do the entire walk ourselves, but contribute in a small way, right, right, right. you know. Um, or, 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 as I keep saying, our health providers are overlooked because there's so much demanded of them and very little given back. So one of our programs this week is to go to a health center and do like we did here today and just carry some coffee. You know, carry some mm, donuts. Some right. Tell the nurses and the doctors thanks for the thanks for the hard work all you're putting in. You know, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that becomes contagious. Not just from the, for the purposes of selling the brand, as I said, but for the purposes of selling a different culture overall. Mm -hmm. Where, as an individual, as a company, as a people, we start becoming a little bit more cognizant of the guy next door or the guy who doesn't have it as fortunate. As, or the lady who doesn't have it as fortunate as we are. Yeah. And that's the whole purpose for me being here today and to let you guys know that even at the corporate level, even at the management level, we still haven't even fully conceptualized all that this will do. Yeah. But we are committed to ensuring that we see the process through so that at least within rituals slash sparrow foods, as you had mentioned earlier, you can feel, you can taste, you can know that there was a cultural change to suit the, 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 the realities of the pandemic. I think it's very interesting that you guys um, chose a slogan, something like, we all stand together, especially in this time where persons are, you know, might feel the need to isolate themselves. Yes. Right? Yes. And um, 
I think that that in itself limits the opportunities for us to collaborate, for us to help one another, for us to receive as we give as well. So I think those those partnerships are going to be very important. I'm really looking forward to see some of the initiatives that come out of this um you know this 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 position that you guys have been taking it's, it's really interesting yeah because we, we uh, like you said it's it, it, it's the natural thing to self protect when 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 something strikes and this pandemic has forced us all whether as individuals as countries and all to kind of live remember we have right. our bubble you know yes yeah but, but even with that we still have to realize that in order for this bubble to be maintained we need to have that giving and right. taking that sharing you know that meeting of minds the, the old boardroom decision making process no longer is going to apply because it's a totally different reality that they themselves aren't as exposed to mm-hmm. and may not necessarily conceptu- conceptualize themselves so yeah we, we have to do this together if we don't do this together we'll fall apart you know what i mean corona will as as it has been doing in other countries you know, rip apart economies, rip mm-hmm. apart lives by, by virtue of, of, of persons passing on. Right. But if we stand together, then we have a greater chance of fighting it on all levels. And that's where we are trying to push it for from the perspective of, of, of rituals. There's also another little angle that I wanted, I, I deliberately saved until the end. Um, we had, I guess as, a, as a, 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 what you would call a first response, what we had been doing over the past few months is looking at our overall prices and our specials and everything else. And we also had taken up a commercial responsibility to start adjusting those. So instead of um, there are a number of different specials and stuff that we have launched that we are going to tweak again mm-hmm. as we will have to continue to tweak because persons don't have the same spending powers before. Yeah, the, the, the situation is ever evolving. Exactly. So, so I know. can't expect you to be able to afford the same things that you were paying for uh, what just before february and our marketing assistant joshua who who's arrived with us i would like him to just break down a few of those things and maybe even um, give you an idea as to what we plan to do in terms of even our staff and stuff like that mm-hmm. hey but, but why don't why don't you enjoy and um invite joshua to come and join us yeah at the he table. can join us at the table why not you know we could make this a big conversation You could break down a few of the specials that we um, have been working with over the past few months that we still tweaking with them, but at least you're familiar with them and you could share them with the public. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Okay, so as um, Mr. Bob mentioned earlier, okay, so our specials that we currently have um, with Rituals, uh, we have our um, burger and chill special. Um, that is that special is more for like um, we want to give everyone like um, something they could they could have for lunch. Um, complete a, meal. A complete meal um, for lunch, having a burger um, and a chiller, and we pair those two together because we feel like um, a chiller is one of our um, best. Enjoy drinks, you could say first. I'm From enjoying me. one right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. What yeah. is that as in? I have a mocha chiller here, and it's divine. So there are diff- many, many different flavors. Many. Um, it, but what we, well, as you would explain... what we do is that we, we, we have these, these original blends that we get from different areas of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, or chiller specials, we actually have chiller specials as well as what Joshua just mentioned. But I mean, for me to break down the flavors for you right now <laughs> would, would, would take us all night. <laughs> so, but yes, it's something you should really pass through and check out if you're interested. Flavor-wise, um, the bubble gum is my personal favorite. You guys should try it. Um, yes. Um, everyone I mentioned that flavor too, they fell in love. <laughs> so I, sh- I recommend everyone to try that one. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, bub- the chiller and the burger special, that's a good deal for me. Um, that's only twenty-five dollars. You get a complete burger, our, um, our classic burger, oh, and wow. any chiller of your choice. We also have the two chiller specials. You can get two chillers for the price of with twenty-five dollars for the two. Um, mm-hmm. Any flavor of your choice as well. And we also have our patty special. You can get four patties for twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Another great what? lunch combo as well. So we 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 want to always show um, our consumers that 
we we have them in times like these and we are giving you great options that you can choose from at a great price. So you can come down um, and our Fort Street branch, our, our Frigate Bay branch, mm -hmm. and you can choose from any one of those specials. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Can I speak a bit about the, what is it, the Creole breakfast or the Creole? Creole. Creole. That is my favorite thing. At the shows. I actually had one on Saturday morning. Excellent. And it was divine. Excellent. I believe it is saltfish with yes. a salad with a vinaigrette on the salad. Ah, uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. With some nice crispy bread but soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. and I think it I think it's cassava. Uh dasheen. Dasheen, dasheen wedges. Mm. <laughs> Roasted and lightly seasoned. Mm. To perfection. So he's a part of your marketing team now. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, he obviously enjoyed right. the uh, Creole right. breakfast. But I'm told I'm that that is. Way forward, yeah? Yeah. At that point, Amali had yeah. not yet returned yeah. home that's, that's from the night before. I <laughs> needed some sustenance. <laughs> that was a walk of shame breakfast? <laughs> walk of shame breakfast. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that breakfast is, is, is outstanding, man. Wow. Yeah, as, wow. A, as I say, it's, it's, it's a, we're trying to create a, a whole. Uh, how should I put it? We're trying to create a more warm feel. I yeah. mean, you know, sometimes when you're going to a coffee shop, you 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 you, you tend to interact with your the person because they, they know you, they know what you're gonna order. Mm -hmm. You know, they sometimes you get them yeah, sometimes yep. you get them the story of your life and the little two minutes and somebody waiting behind you there, you know, mm -hmm. how is your day going turns into a story of you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to recreate that type of atmosphere at the same time being a neighborhood coffee shop saying, if you're going through some problems, I have no issue trying to help you at this point in time and at, at overall then maybe you would see that and then help the person that you can help yeah and over time it comes full circle yeah build culture but you have to start yeah. the circle somewhere yeah mm -hmm. so, and it's contagious um, this is our attempt at really diving in brilliant brilliant um josh you wanted to indicate some of the staff initiatives that we conceptualize or okay um so yeah, for um, around this time, we okay. So our team got together and um, we decided that um, um, I would assume Bob mentioned um, before that we are doing this ad campaign and we don't want it only to be just for the general public. We want our staff to feel the same love that we are sharing to the public as well. So we came up with the idea to do um, staff back the staff initiatives and we are going to um, reward them with um, their great work, their great service, make them feel appreciated and show that, hey, we still care for you guys in these times. And we know that things are really rough right now for everyone, as we can see. So we want to show them that um, we'll do staff of the month. Once again, we want to bring back that and we want to more, um, bring it on a more holistic Holistic level. level, yes. There's even the TikTok initiative. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So persons, staff members who take this video and create their own TikTok video bearing the same hashtag. and um, The best video will be The best win video will, will, will win a, a, a monetary reward. And again, this is all to sort of keep everybody mm -hmm. engaged. We're yeah. all in this together. If, mm -hmm. if one person can't paddle now, then the other two have to paddle yeah. in their stead and then vice versa. So as, mm -hmm. as Josh said, try and engage them. It's not going to be a perfect... And it will take time. And it will take time. Mm -hmm. But if we, if it starts with me, and it starts with us, then it will eventually catch on. Contagious. Somewhere. Yeah. Somebody else would feel it mm -hmm. somehow and yeah. say, "Hey, you know, this is something we could, we could roll with." For sure, for sure. So um, I'm really hoping that the general public c c would buy into it um, on mm -hmm. a on a greater level, mm -hmm. and at the same time. As I said, just spread the love. Mm -hmm. And it, really it, feel the message that yeah. we're really sending forth to the public. So this isn't even about just buying rituals items. It's just about spread some love, man. Show Unity. some humanity. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. some positivity. Mm. Yeah. You know, good that, vibes. Good energy. Yeah. Mm. Good vibes. Too much of this pandemic has taken some <laughs> of some of the joy away from the life that we live right now. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, a lot of joy. Uh, yeah. And, and, and I don't see why we have to remain in that place. Mm -hmm. We fight it, we, we, we keep our heads on, but we push forward with a smile on our faces, knowing that at some point in time or the other, it will get better. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. And that's, I guess, how I and the team and, and, and the concept behind the entire We Stand Together campaign. And there's a recognition that this type of behavior is contagious, right? Yes, it And is. inspires other people to do, to do the same. I uh, firmly believe so. We've spoke, we've spoke about, about that here on, here on the show, like being able to do 
something nice for somebody, you know, random. It doesn't have to be even a big monetary gesture. But sometimes just help, giving a helping hand, helping somebody, and it makes you feel so good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It makes yes, you feel so good to help people. Yes, it does. Like, even this morning I was reading, I was like, just, just forgiving somebody. You know, it's a beer. You know, sometimes because of small communities, you see people all the time, and somebody might, and Mali says to me, boy, I ain't like X, Y, Z, you know. And I take it personally for so long, and me and Mali can't relax and take a drink like we used to a long time. Why would just wake up one morning and say, hey, that day really wasn't worth... Don't make no sense. Yeah. Something you can't even remember what the issue was about. What the core issue is about. Why I can't call Amali and say, brother, I like what you're doing. X, Y, Z is the case. Keep it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let me put this whole thing to rest. Mm-hmm. And it, obviously that, cha- that changes that person's per, well, day yes. if, if, if this, that person was close to you. Mm-hmm. And it changes the way they, they now are going to be forced to deal with other, other people, people because... Yeah, it's if, trickle, yeah. It's yeah it will trickle. trickle down. And mm-hmm. that's just forgiveness alone. It don't take no money from you. It don't take no... All it takes is for you to be able to say, hey, uh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Water under the bridge. You know? And that, those small things, though, end up making big differences in everybody's lives. And mm-hmm. then by then, you'll be able to graduate. Um, somebody who needs help with the school work, you might be able to put them in the right direction, put them onto somebody, or you assist them yourself. Right. You know? Somebody who is encouraging the arts. And you may not be as skilled, or you may know somebody who knows somebody. Just the people to help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that person is given a little bit more hope than they have right now and a little bit more of an opportunity than they have right now. And as I say, it shows that we all standing in this together. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Well, do, 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 do you guys have any other, any other promotions you'd like to show there? Like on, on, on In the us? making. making. There's going to be lots of it. But yeah. what I'm going to say is the focus for us, as much as we mentioned the commercial aspect of it, the focus for us is the feeling. Yeah. If we could get this feeling of goodwill out, Mm-hmm. And as I said, piece by piece, you know what I mean? We'll, 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 we'll be all right. Because over time, the, the promotions and everything else will come. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, persons, you will come to us and say, Bob, X, Y, Z is the case. Boy, I like this, you know, but you could do it a little better. Mm-hmm. You know, which means that I at least I've engaged you sufficiently for you to try something. Yes. Right. So I, the, the promotions I'm not even too overly concerned about is, is this, this spirit, this, this fighting spirit of standing together as one, this, this feel good spirit of, hey, Let's get on with life and, and, and start doing the things that we're supposed to do toward mm-hmm. each other and show nice. the requisite humanity. Well, it's needed for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very, definitely necessary. Big I mean, time. Can't even begin to describe the kind of depression. Not even in sinkers, but in the world in right the now. World, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? yeah. Millions of people have been, have been affected and, 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 you know, these kind gestures go a very long way. They do. They, they go do. a very long way. They do. But yeah, but... Um, Change your world. Uh-huh. You can change the world piece by piece. Piece by piece. And like you said, it's a process. Or co- and, and, one and coffee at a time. <laughs> <laughs> one chill at a time. One chill at a time. Or one ice cappuccino at a time. One ice, ice cappuccino at a time. I sent you the recipe, by the way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, sir. That was I a was, really, uh, really big thing when I, when I was in Canada. I'll be keen to look into it as soon as Yes, yes. That's, that's a congestion in itself. You see there? <laughs> it's already begun. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But 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 Mr. Bob and, and Joshua. Mr. Richards. <laughs> <laughs> so Kenneth and Joshua. <laughs> um, we want to thank you for, for, for joining us and, and coming and spreading this message of positivity. It and was a pleasure. It was definitely a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yes, and we do hope we'll be back soon to give us some more, you know, juice. Okay. As to what's happening with the, the group of companies. I will. Specifically, which one? And specifically, the breakfast. Right. But right. <laughs> 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 well, you know, we again, we'd love to we'd love to have you back to hear what what other developments you have because you like we said you know during the the talk it's yeah. ever evolving yes. and you know we have to add change and adapt as things go so we hope to have you back to get more updates. As on, soon as yeah, as soon as something happens, I'll definitely give you guys a little WhatsApp. So even if you just want to shout it out, that's fine. I'll right. keep you informed. We will be happy to do so. Awesome. So thanks again for having us. Okay. All right, well, we'll pause for a cause and then get back to some more conversation on, on Island Tea with your faves, Kevin and Mali. Stay tuned. WINN is 98.9. 98.9 is Win FM.